but let's not waste any more time. Let's jump straight into one of the first steps that you need to take when it comes to using AI to build a digital product that you can sell and earn passive income from is that you need to go onto an AI bot. In this case, I'm going to be using ChatGPT. There's so many other AI bots out there that you can use, you know, tools like DeepSeek, Google Gemini. You can also use Grok Free as well. But with the method that I'm going to be showing you today, ChatGPT is one of the best ones to use. So I'm just going to type in this simple prompt. I'm going to say that I want to sell a digital product online. Can you give me 10 of the best evergreen digital products that sell well? And just like that, it's now coming back with all of these different ideas that you can choose from. Now, it's very important at this stage that you pick one that you believe that you're going to be able to stick with, that you're kind of interested in. Because if you've got passion around whichever one that you're going to move forward with, it's going to help you when it comes to any obstacles that you might face. So the different ideas that it's come back with are things like membership sites, royalty free music, things like stock photos, AI powered templates, digital printables, so on and so forth. Now, the one that I'm going to move forward with in this video is going to be spreadsheets. I've personally sold thousands of dollars worth of spreadsheets on the internet. So I know that it's definitely something that can yield a decent amount of profit. And it's also something that you can use AI to build as well. And I'm going to show you that in this video. So once you've decided on whichever one that you're going to move forward with, again, I'm going to use spreadsheets. The next prompt that you need to type in is going to be, can you give me the top 10 most searched spreadsheets that people buy on a consistent basis and then click on send. The reason why we're doing this is because we want to make sure that whatever spreadsheet that we're going to build is something that people are actually interested in. One of the most common mistakes that so many people make when it comes to this stage is that they pick whatever digital product that they think is going to do well rather than doing the actual research. Because one thing that I know for a fact is that if you're able to see that someone else is selling a particular product, whether physical or digital, and you can see that they're making money from it and you sell it yourself, then of course, you're going to have a higher chance of being able to make money also. So the type of spreadsheets that ChatGPT has come back with are things like meal planning, habit tracking, social media content calendar spreadsheets, inventory management, you know, all of these different ones. But I'm just going to quickly double check bookkeeping and accounting spreadsheets. This one stood out to me because I'm someone that studied accounting and finance. I went to work as a bookkeeper. So I've got a lot of experience with it. So what I want to do is just copy the word bookkeeping just like this. And I'm just going to come over to Google and type in bookkeeping spreadsheet and see if there's people that are actively selling them. So straight away, we can see that there's all of these different options, all of these different websites that have been able to get ranked on the first page. And there's this website over here. Let me just click into it. So this website on the surface looks super simple. You you know, they've got these different spreadsheets that are targeted towards bookkeepers as well as accountants. Literally what this website is doing is listing these different spreadsheets for sale. And because they're not dealing with physical products, whenever they do make a sale, they don't have to deal with any logistics, any manufacturing fees, you know, any postal fees or anything like that. The customer lands on the website, they buy one of these spreadsheets, it gets emailed directly over to them. And this basically means that the owner of websites just like this are able to earn a passive income without having to do too much work. And I'm sure right now, most of you are probably thinking, Sam, everything you've shown us so far is amazing. You know, I want to do this, but just by looking at websites like this, how are we able to know if they're even making money from selling spreadsheets? Well, that's a good question. And the way that you can figure that out is by copying the URL just like this. And depending on which hosting the website owner is using, you're going to be able to see the money that they're bringing in by using a tool like Zeek Analytics. So I'm just going to paste the URL in there just like that and then click on search. And right here, as you guys can see, this store has been able to bring in over $25,000 in the last 30 days alone. And what's really good about using Zeek Analytics, I've got a seven day trial link in my description down below, is that they're going to be able to show you which spreadsheets are bringing in the most money. So if you wanted to replicate this store, you're going to be able to easily do it. But as we move forward in this video, the one that I'm going to use when it comes to showing you how I would build a spreadsheet and how I would list it for sale is going to be freelancer taxes. And the reason why I'm choosing this one is because if I just go over to Google Trends, I'm going to type in freelance 
taxes just like this and then click on explore and right here as you guys can see in the united states it's very predictable in terms of the amount of people that are going onto google searching for this particular search term which means that this could be a great opportunity for me to build a website load it with spreadsheets targeted towards people that are doing their taxes as a freelancer and of course from that website i'm going to be able to monetize it in a number of different ways and i'm going to be able to use ai throughout the entire process so now that I know which one I'm going to be moving forward with, I'm just going to head back over to ChatGPT. And if you're following along with what I'm doing, the next prompt that you're going to want to type in, depending on which one you're going to pick, is going to be something like this. Now, I'm not going to bore you and read it all out. I'm basically asking ChatGPT to give me a spreadsheet when it comes to helping freelancers with their profit and loss. You can pause the screen right now, get an idea of exactly how I've entered the prompt. But I'm just going to leave it like this and then click on enter. And there we go. Within a few minutes, it was able to come back with a fully made spreadsheet that I'm going to be able to download straight away. Now, most people don't realize that they can use ChatGPT in this way. But just imagine the potential of being able to use it to make endless amounts of spreadsheets. Of course, once you've done your research and then load all of these different spreadsheets onto your website so that people can buy them. But let me show you exactly what it was able to do. I'm just gonna click on download and then open it up. Okay, so here is the spreadsheet that it was able to make. You know, it's pretty decent, it's a good foundation. And the best part about it is that it's come loaded with all of the different formulas. So in the cells where there needs to be formulas, for example, this one and this one, as well as this one over here, you're gonna be able to see the formula in this tab right here. So if you wanted a basic structure for a spreadsheet, this is definitely one of the best ways to do it. And of course, from this point, you're gonna be able to design it in a way that you know adds a little bit more value. So for example, when it comes to these total amounts over here, I'm just going to format it in a better way. Okay, so I've done that one there. I'm also going to do this one. And I'm also going to put lines on this one as well. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of color to it. So I'm gonna click on format as table. I'm gonna come over to this one over here. Then I'm gonna click on okay. And there you go. As you can see, I've now got a spreadsheet that people will be more than happy to buy because not everyone can get a spreadsheet to this point. Now, of course, I do have to be honest, I'm just showing you a basic example of how it works. There's a lot more work that you might want to add to it so that you can possibly charge a bit more. But I'm sure that most of you get the potential of being able to use AI bots like ChatGPT when it comes to being able to build a spreadsheet that you can sell. And this isn't going to be the only one that you're going to sell. You're going to be able to do this over and over again, as I've already said, when it comes to having 10, 20 different spreadsheets so that you can upsell and cross sell. But for those of you that are wondering, but Sam, how exactly are we going to build a website? Don't you need to go to university, college, you know, be some sort of coder for you to be able to do that well the answer to that is no because there's tools like this hostingers ai website builder that any one of you are going to be able to use as always i'm going to leave it linked in my description down below but the reason why this is so powerful is because you're going to be able to get a website fully loaded and you're going to be able to link your spreadsheet to it within a matter of minutes so once you've clicked that link in my description and you've clicked on claim deal then come over here to Business Website Builder. This is the one that you need to sign up for when it comes to what I'm showing you in this particular video. You're gonna see that it has all of these different features. You're gonna be able to build a hundred different websites. You're gonna get a free email. 150 different templates it also comes with all of these different ai tools you know the ai website builder ai image generator ai blog writer you know just everything you need when it comes to being able to make money in a passive way from selling digital products so just click on choose plan it's then going to take you to this page over here where it's going to ask what length do you want to have the website for now in my personal opinion i would say signing up for the longest one is going to be your best option reason being is that you're going to get a bigger discount and it's going to come with various different bonuses and various different features but if you wanted to go with one of the lower options of course you can do that you're always going to be able to extend it you're just not going to be able to get all of those added discounts from day one so just pick whichever one that you want to move forward with and then click on continue and once you've gone through the process of setting up your account if i haven't already mentioned when it comes to one of the benefits of using hostinger and signing up for that package that i just mentioned you're going to be able to get a completely free domain now, if you're someone that's confused on what to call your website, you're going to be able to come over here to generate a domain using AI. 
And then from here, you're going to be able to enter a short description of what the website is going to be about. And hosting is going to be able to give you back some ideas for the business name. So I'm just going to type in this short description. I'm going to say that I am building a website that will be focused around freelancer taxes. The website will sell digital products to help freelancers and it will also be a blog. So I'm just going to type that in and then click on generate. And just like that, it's come back with all of these different choices that we're going to be able to choose from. If I wanted to get more, I'm going to be able to click on this button. But the one that I'm going to choose in this case is going to be this one. Bear in mind, guys, that everything I'm showing you is just an example, just so that you know exactly what you can do straight after watching this video. But I'm going to choose this one. And then what I'm going to do is come back over here to the home page. And if you wanted to claim that free domain, you're going to be able to do that by coming over here, clicking on claim domain, pasting the domain in there just like that, and then checking availability. Okay, perfect. So it definitely is available. And if I wanted to get it right now, I'm not going to have to pay a single dollar. But once you've claimed your domain and you're ready to start building your website because you know what the brand name is going to be, you're going to be able to come over here to the AI website builder page and initially type in the brand name. So I'm just going to put it in there just like this. And for the description, I'm just going to type in something like this is a blog website targeted towards freelancers in the USA. It will also sell digital products, e.g. spreadsheets, so that freelancers in the US will be able to purchase them and sort out their finances. So it could be a super simple description just like this. Ensure that you've ticked this box as well so that you're going to be able to, of course, sell the digital product. And once you've done that, all you need to do is click on create a website. And just like that, as you just saw, the website has now been built and it was done right before our very eyes. It probably took around 20 seconds for it to build a fully optimized, ready to use website. Now, the good thing about using Hostinger is that it's going to, you know, put all of these different placeholders here for all of these different spreadsheets. Now, of course, you don't need to sell these different spreadsheets. You can change it out. You can, you know, make any changes that you need to, but you're going to be able to view the website on both mobile phone and you're going to be able to view it on desktop as well. And when it comes to specifically listing the spreadsheet that you made using ChatGPT on your website so that people can buy it, you're just going to click on continue. And it's on this page that you're going to be able to do everything when it comes to setting up your store. So add in your first product. All you're going to do is click on add. Go over to your files on your computer. You're going to be able to add it just like that. You're also going to need to set up a payment method so that you can actually receive money. And generally speaking, you're just going to have to go through all of this. Make sure that you've updated your company information, you know, added any other digital product that you want to add. And I would say that this part of the process is fairly straightforward. But if you wanted me to make a detailed video showing you everything you need to do when it comes to this side of things, even though it's simple, just put in the comments down below, do the hosting digital video and I'll get onto it ASAP. But right now, I'm sure that most of you are probably thinking to yourself, Sam, everything you've shown us up until this point, once again, is truly amazing. You know, we really appreciate it. But how exactly are we going to get customers to land on our website for them to buy the digital products that we're selling? Now, this is a valid question and there's valid answers that I can give you. If you remember what I showed you with the spreadsheet website at the start of this video, they were able to get ranked on the first page of Google by doing certain things. The main thing that they did initially, once they built their website, is that they connected it to a Google Search Console account. This is free to do and all this means is that you're letting Google know that your website exists. Most beginners make the mistake of thinking that once they build their website, Google is automatically going to know it's a thing when that isn't true. You need to sign up for a Google Search Console account. Again, this is completely free to do. Connect it to your website. Once you've done that, you're now going to be in a position where you can get your website ranked on Google so that you can get organic traffic. This is going to be done with blog articles, making sure that you put the right keywords in the blog articles on your website to get ranked on Google as well as on the product pages. Now, this video has already gone on a little bit too long. So what I'm going to do is leave another one right there where I'm going to expand on different ways that you can make money from AI and the things that you need to do when it comes to generating traffic so that you can sit back and watch the money coming into your bank account. If you've enjoyed this video so far, don't forget to press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit the bell notification and I'll catch you guys on that next video. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.